नमस्ते दिस इज रवि योर मास्टर टीचर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एट वेदांतु वेलकम टू द स्प्रिंट आयन सीरीज यस वी आर द लास्ट चैप्टर दैट इज पीरियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स सो वी हैव डिवाइडेड दिस चैप्टर इनटू टू सेशंस सो देयर विल बी वन सेशन टुडे एंड टुमारो सो दैट वी कैन डिस्कस मोर क्वेश्चंस रेडी पीपल यू वाचड ऑल द अदर सेशंस नो स्प्रिंट आयन का यस so what are the topics we will be focusing on uh, in this session is early attempts of classification mendeleev's periodic table limitations of mendeleev's periodic table modern periodic table yes so if you do not know the schedule yes we are already at the end so 26th periodic classification of elements and then tomorrow that is 27th go part 2 hoga and we are done with sprint ion for class 10 cbsc prebots If you are here for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and all the others. Make sure you have liked the session and share this with your friends as well. So even they will know what are the important, uh, very very important questions uh, based on these topics, so that you can practice and score well. Yay! Let's get started. So which step have you reached today? Let me know in the comment section. I won't do it. I can't do it. I want to do it. How do I do it? I'll try to do it. I can do it. I will do it. Yes, I did it. So it's okay. Um, but I don't want you to say I can't do it. I won't do it. So I want to do it. If you are in this stage also, like of course we all are here to help you to take you here. Yes, I did it. Come on, give me a high five. Yes, people, where are you? Let me know. So here is the first question. One mark ka hai. Two to three minutes will take, but we will be trying to solve it within sixty seconds. Up to which element was the law of octaves found to be applicable? So Newton's law of octaves, right? So this is one of the limitation of Newton's law of octaves. Is it oxygen, calcium, cobalt, potassium? So the law of octaves it worked only for the lighter elements. That is up to calcium. So option B will be the right answer. Yay! so after that there uh, there wasn't any similarities in the properties of the every eighth element so that is the reason this is one of the limitation of the newton's law of octaves so question number 2 is again one mark ka which of the following statements about the modern periodic table are incorrect okay incorrect let's just go through the statements the elements in the modern periodic table are arranged on the basis of their decreasing atomic numbers na nah. faults the elements in the modern periodic table are arranged on the basis of their increasing atomic mass see we are talking about modern periodic table no incorrect isotopes are placed in adjoining groups in the periodic table no incorrect the last one is let's see uh, the elements in the modern periodic table are arranged on the basis of their increasing atomic number very good so option 4 is correct hai na so 1 2 and 3 are incorrect so here what is the question they have asked us to choose the statements which are incorrect so obviously the answer will be only one no 1 2 and 3 yes option b will be the right answer because 4 is actually correct and only 4 please don't choose only 4 because only 4 the fourth statement is actually correct but they have asked us to choose the incorrect statements so option b will be the right answer Yay! So this is what is this? This is four. Okay. Okay. The next question two marks ka hai. The elements A, B, and C with similar properties have atomic masses x, y, and z respectively. Okay. The mass of uh, y is approximately equal to the average mass of x and z. What is such an arrangement of elements called as? Give an example of such. a set of elements so they want you to name that classification and give one set that is we have three triads right so this is basically dobereiner's triads so we have um, uh, calcium strontium barium or sodium lithium sodium potassium so you can give any chlorine bromine iodine so jo bhi you if you remember it so make sure it is correct otherwise you can just write two also and you don't have to uh, calculate the average atomic mass but if you are very sure if you do remember the atomic mass or so for example here we have taken calcium strontium and barium so this is 40 this is almost 137 if you know it then only you write 
and take the average and you can just compare okay see the strontium atomic mass is 88 so when you take the average of barium and strontium like calcium and uh, barium so you are getting 88.5 which is very close question number 4 in mendeleev's periodic table the elements were arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses yes However, cobalt with an atomic mass of fifty-eight point nine three units was placed before nickel, having an atomic mass of fifty-eight point seven one. Give reason. See, if you look at the Mendeleev's periodic table, so it's it's not only about um, the atomic mass, but he focused on the similarity in the properties. Okay, so after that, of course, it was right, right? So what his main focus was, like he tried to place the elements. Which have similar properties in the same group, so that exactly is the reason cobalt was placed with rhodium and iridium because it showed similar properties, and then nickel with palladium and platinum because they had similar properties. So that is the reason. Of course, when you go, so we all know his uh, periodic table, Mendeleev's periodic table is based on the increasing atomic mass. So this is the drawback. But why did he do it? Is because of the similarity in the properties. So this was for. Two marks, so you need to write um, two points related to cobalt one. So in which place, in which group is it placed, and then uh, about the nickel. Cool. Next is question number five. Three marks ka hai ye. Uh, properties of the elements are given below. Where would you locate the following elements in the periodic table? So where would you locate? That means in which group and period? That is important. See, this is for three marks. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Like five uh, sub questions. Let's do it. A soft metal stored under kerosene. So um, sodium and potassium they both are stored in kerosene. So can write group one and period two, three. Yes. An element with variable valency stored under water. So the moment you see variable valency, you might think of d-block elements, but this is phosphorus. Okay, phosphorus. So where is uh, in which group the phosphorus is placed? What is the atomic number? Two eight five. Hey na, phosphorus. So third period and the fifteenth group. That will be the answer. An element which is tetravalent and forms the basis of organic chemistry. It's none other than our carbon, right? So fourteenth group and second period. Very good. An element which is an inert gas with atomic number two. So first period R group eighteen. Now you want me to write it because helium helium's atomic number is two and it is an inert gas, so it is in group eighteen and first period. An element whose thin oxide layer is used to make other elements corrosion resistance by the process of anodizing, not galvanization. So galvanization होगा तो it would have been zinc, but here anodizing में we use aluminium, right? So what is the atomic number of aluminium? Two eight three. So it is present in the third period. It belongs to thirteenth group. So this is how you will answer. So whenever they ask you where would you locate, don't write ha on the left side. No 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 no, almost right side. No, don't answer like that. So you have to be very much specific. So like okay, which group and period? Because this is for three marks, people. Three marks it is. So you need to specify the group and period. Got it? How to answer these questions? Yes. If you have any doubts, just let me know in the comment section. We have done. See, sodium and potassium are alkali metals. So obviously, where will you find them? Group one. Wait. Okay. So did I say group two? So sodium is two eight one. So this belongs to period three, and potassium is this belongs to period four, three and four. Okay. So rest all are right. Okay. So when I join us, gain hundred percent knowledge and score hundred percent marks. How how how? Everyone everyone wants to gain knowledge as well as score. 100 percent marks, right? So what you can do is visit the link given in the description and in the pinned comment, and use the code SURPRO. Why? Oh, okay, I'll tell. So once you are a pro subscriber, or once you have taken the pro subscription, you will have the access to unlimited live classes. Yes, so there are all the master teachers are so amazing. So they will be taking class. So you can enroll into any of these sessions, micro courses, 
or the crash courses the long term batches we have so many and you will have the um, you know freedom to choose the schedule or the language and in every session there will be lots of quizzes hotspots and you will be competing with the students all over the world interactive replays with live quizzes and le leaderboards yes even if you're watching the replay also you can still play the quiz and be on the leaderboard that is really nice and after every session assignments will be shared with you and you will get the handwritten notes of the master teacher mm. very very important this is important for every student that is there will be in class doubt solving so class teachers honge master teacher bhi honge so they will mainly focus on your doubts yay so what should you do more classes less surprise yeah so go for three months ka subscription if you want otherwise one month is also fine so use the coupon code s u r p r o for additional discount yay okay next is question number 6 explain the law of octaves what are its limitations so this is for three marks theek hai three marks ka question hai so obviously so the law of octaves ke liye one mark and limitations ke liye two marks hoga so what is this law of octaves how do you uh, explain it so law of octaves when the elements are arranged according to the increasing order of their atomic mass every eighth elements element ka properties are similar to that of the first one this is what is the law of octaves oct eight right so this was given by newland now coming to the uh, limitations there are many so firstly he placed the similar elements okay the elements with similar properties far away from each other and the halogens were placed with metals so these are and um, this law of octave it only uh, holds good for the lighter elements or till calcium so three points bas and then also you can even say like uh, noble gases the newly discovered elements couldn't fit into this uh, law of octaves that is also one more point you can add okay question number 7 state mendeleev's periodic law list limitations of mendeleev's periodic see this is a very very important question mendeleev's periodic law or modern periodic law but the limitations of mendeleev's periodic table is very 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 important now what i see this is for uh, three marks as i told you so one mark hoga the statement ke liye and then so list limitations of mendeleev's periodic table i would suggest you to write all the limitations theek hai two marks ke liye hai na so write down all of them so what are the what is modern mendeleev's periodic table the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic weights or mass so what does this mean there is this uh, periodicity right the repetition of the properties at regular regular intervals what he thought was that is because of the uh, way we have arranged elements that is increasing order of the atomic mass that's what he thought so on that basis he gave us the mendeleev's periodic table which states that let me repeat the statement again the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic mass but in modern periodic table only one word ka difference hai there it is atomic number okay but next is list limitations of mendeleev's periodic table first one um no fixed position for hydrogen and then the position of isotopes could not be explained wrong order of atomic mass that is nickel and cobalt ka wrong order of atomic mass um these are the limitations of the mendeleev's periodic table so this is it for today what did we learn early attempts of classification mendeleev's periodic table limitations of mendeleev's periodic table modern periodic table so we uh, discussed few important questions on the following topics so which are important yes this is your homework question atomic number of an element is considered to be more appropriate parameter than its atomic mass for a chemist take the example of the element x whose atomic number is 13 to justify the statement so we all know that right we all know atomic number is more of a fundamental property than atomic mass so that is the reason um, the difference between mendeleev's periodic table and the modern periodic table the modern uh, periodic table you know it removed all the anomalies of the mendeleev's periodic table because of the only thing where 
um, they considered atomic number as a fundamental property. So how can you justify this? That atomic number is very important. It is a more of a fundamental property than atomic mass. How can you justify it? That's the question. So atomic number 13, that is the LX element ka example lelo, and then justify the statement. Write it in the comment section. Um, current section, yes, current session, 26th ko hai. Yes, done. We got a classification of elements. In the last, in the previous session, yes, we did discuss about carbon and its compounds. You know how important it is. So if you have not watched it, you will go and watch it in the next session that is tomorrow. So the last session of the Sprint Ion series, Periodic Classification of Elements Part 2. Do not miss it. Yes, and if you're here for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share this video with your friends and do not forget to write the homework um, question with an answer in the comment section so that I'll just go through it. If you are confused, let me know and if you have any doubts related to this chapter, um, just let me know or you can even mail me. If you want to take up the pro subscription, the link is available in the description and in the pinned comment. Use the coupon code SURPR. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.